good faith. The Mohawk warrior they call wizard. Now there's only crumbs left. And they want that. So now we must draw the line and say, well, wait a minute here. What is going to be left for our people? Our children. To become a warrior, you have to be self-disciplined. You have to uh, be willing to sacrifice. You have to be willing to uh, go so far as to give up your own life. I've talked with many Canadians who, who have told me they understand your position, they respect the way you feel until the violence started, until Chateau Gay started happening. We are a nation within another nation, and we'll never change that position. And so if they are upset at us, they should think a minute and try to understand that. This is all we got left, and we're not going to give it up. Canada, if you do not deal with this generation of leaders and seek peaceful solutions, then we cannot promise that you are going to like the kind of violent political action that we can just about guarantee the next generation is going to... As many as 7,000 people gathered at the police barricade last night, they opened a fire hydrant, they set fire to this tourist information booth, then they started ripping bricks from the media and dividing the avenue. They broke the bricks into smaller pieces and used them to attack officers hiding behind their shields. At least a dozen officers suffered minor injuries. But they were not the only ones who got hurt. About two dozen other people were wounded, including this bystander. I got hit with a brick in the face, he says. We were watching the scene from our truck. The Anilabers Hospital in Shadowgate treated 35 people and released them shortly afterwards. Police counterattacked with tear gas. One ambulance driver says he treated more than 30 people for tear gas inhalation. I inhaled all that smoke, says Denise Lefebvre. It stung my eyes. I didn't know where to hide. But the crowd kept on throwing rocks at police. Finally, the riot squad charged against the protesters, wielding billy sticks. Police cleared the area shortly before 2 in the morning. Paul Carvalho, CBC News, Shadowgate. Negotiations between the Mohawks and the Quebec government will get going again just as soon as a team of international observers arrives at Oka. This could be as early as tomorrow. But until the Mohawks' land claims are settled, the barricades will stay up. The economic... to uh, stop this uh, conflict, you know. We didn't come here to, to do the war. We came here to try to help 